Hello Egyptology lovers, uh, once again I've created another app for you guys. Uh, this time it's not really Egyptian, but more of a Sumerian uh, script, so the cuneiforms. So I'll just show you, once again, once you can go to my Apple store, you can download, it's about a dollar. Uh, but if you're really interested in uh, uh, the cuneiforms, well you have the uh, cuneiforms. So when I run the script, it should run, it'll pop up like that, Sumero Akkadian keyboard. Uh, it'll have the same things as before, uh, with the Sumerian uh, syllabary, which you could use. I've also included uh, the numbers. There is a section in here where I have PDFs where you can click on it and then reference it. For some reason, it didn't pop up in here, which is okay. But you can actually see the, the references on there. So if you download it, you can actually tell what it is. But let's get to the keyboard itself. So let's get down to here. Let's go to the texting. Now, once you're in the text section, just again, like we did with the Hyrule keyboard, just click on the area over here. Now you click on the globe. Now you'll see it's not in here, that's fine, because you go to keyboard settings, and then you go to your keyboards. Now it should be there automatically, but if not, that's no problem. You click on add keyboard, and there you see it, your Sumer keyboard. Click on it, and then go back to your messages. And now, when you hold on to the globe, the Sumer keyboard should pop up, and there you go, you should have your Sumerian. Now, the syllabary I showed you before, um, I'll just show it to you again over here, not this one, sorry, right over here, this syllabary is what's on the keyboard in two separate keyboards. So I'll show you. So remember this, remember how it associates, starts with the letter A, then K. So this could be Ka, Ga, Ka, so you could see, right? Then ko, uh, then K, Ki, Ku. So that's how it follows. It goes then ga, ge, gi, gu, and so on, ka, ke, ki, ku. Sometimes it may just be the same. You could see it's like one, so this sound, the A and the E can be identical. So that's how you follow the syllabary. Now, we're gonna go back to the keyboard and I'll just show you. It's pretty much operates the same way as the Hyrule keyboard, but you'll have pretty much a lot of scripts. And using the PDFs that are on the app, you can actually, uh, through Wikipedia, you can reference them all. So that's it, so you can just pretty much do it like before. You can type in the uh, in the cuneiform, send that out. Now you can switch keyboards. I left it as a lowercase abc, which is a continuation of the syllabary. Like that, you see? And you can send it. Also, uh, you can enter into the numbers, which I've put the one all the way up to 10. You can see them here. And then I put them in the other direction as well, like that. So there is the one to 10 in the opposite direction going horizontal and vertical. And down here, it's a little difficult to see because unfortunately the keyboard, but this is now 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and all the way to 900. So excuse me, yes, so that's how it goes. So that's what you could type to use right over there. So sorry, to all the way to 1000. So that's 900 all the way to 1000. So that's right, 100 to 900 to 1,000, and these are your numbers right over here. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let me just confirm that I have everything on the keyboard for you guys. Yes, that's fine. So apparently I must have skipped out on 100, but I have 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and that's how it goes. All right, so now we'll show you the emoji area. When you click on this, now you have pretty much all the Sumero cuneiformic, about 750 characters, I believe in total. And you can go through them all and they will all be on the PDF when you click on that link and you can see them all there. So that's the cuneiform area. We'll go back to ABC and then we'll enter. Now we'll have the same thing with the pictures that we did with the emojis for the hieroglyphs. So this is images. Now when you click on it, it'll say you need full access. You don't have to do this, but that's up to you. I still have to figure out how to remove that access since this is a third party app I'm using. But what you do is you go to your Sumer keyboard, you give it full access. Uh, make sure to read what the disclaimer right here it says that information, sensitive information could be shared, but I don't really get anything. So it might be something that Apple gets. So when you click okay, you go back to the keyboards right over here, and then you click on that horse there, which is uh, basically a cuneiform uh, look. And once you click on that, now you can actually click on one of them, and it'll say copy, paste, uh, copy to pasteboard, and then you just paste. And there you go, this is a ziggurat, and I've done three, four of them, so there's four different ziggurats, so you just go like this, 
Uh, I have the god Enki, which I have put here, and there is one right over there. You can send that one out. And this one over here, there's Enki god right there. Uh, if you lose the keyboard, it's not a big deal. I sometimes lose that, but there you go. That's pretty much the, uh, the keyboard. Uh, there's uh, Sargon, which is famous Akkadian uh, king. You can use that one too. So a lot of different things that you could use over here. I even included a little tablet. Uh, let me just show you that one too. And finally, this the symbol that a lot of uh, Persians use for their ancient culture, which they use today right over here. So there you go. So that's the uh, the hieroglyphic keyboard. I mean, the Sumerian keyboard you guys can use and enjoy. Uh, it's something that I put together again. Uh, it's only a dollar online. It helps me to uh, try to make some money to be able to hopefully make an Android one down the line for you guys to be able to use in the Android world. So there is your Sumerian Akkadian keyboard, which is a combination of the Sumerian ancient script, which is the first culture, true culture of, of, of the Eastern cultures, the Sumerian people who created their script and then everyone else used it, such as Babylon, Alamites, Uruk people, uh, even the Akkadians, which had which pretty much brought the language to its highest uh, quality, much like Middle Egyptian. So there it is, guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Uh, send me information if you have any issues with the app. Uh, I'm happy to fix it or update if there's anything missing. So enjoy that, and uh, yep, yeah, take care.